So this here is the Laven Hook microscope. Um, I got in the purple color, which I think is really, uh, really fun for kids. It can, um, the light sources can run either, whoops, my lens piece just fell out, not a big deal. <laughs> you can either run off of the AA batteries or there's an included power cord that plugs in back here. I've mostly just been using the batteries so far. Let me put that eyepiece back in, there we go. So if it does come out, very easy to put back on. Um, and I'm really very impressed with the quality and sturdiness of this microscope. Um, I've tried some others that were geared towards kids and they just felt like cheap toys. They really didn't work very well. This feels like a real microscope. So it has the lens piece, um, includes a 10 times magnifying lens. And then there are three rotating lenses, which are 10x, 4x and 40x so you multiply the two together and you get 40 times 100 times and 400 times the magnification um, i'm really pleased with the light source i saw some other reviewers were complaining about um the light source and it really confuses me because light source on this is great it actually has both upper and lower illumination so depending on like the opacity and thickness of the sample you can kind of tune it in so there's a knob right here I just uh, click it over once let's see uh, sorry I have to... a knob right here click it once and the bottom light turns on twice and the top light turns on and three times and we now have both the bottom and top light there's also a wheel over here that I can use to dial in the intensity of the lower light source. So basically, uh, I don't know how if that comes out. Oh yeah, you can definitely see on the on the video that as I dial it up, that light gets brighter, and that's actually really nice. I find that um, as you change the magnification level, sometimes you want to uh, ch uh, change the brightness to keep things uh, clear. So that's nice. There's also a wheel here that I can use that basically has different size holes underneath that turn around so that I can control that way also how much light is getting through. So two different ways to adjust the light level, which is pretty handy. Um, nice spring-loaded clips to keep the samples in place, pretty standard. Um, focus, just a, a coarse focus up and down here, which works really well with the um, 4x and 10x lenses it can be a little hard sometimes to get a really crisp focus with the 40x it would be nice if there was a fine focus knob but it was still uh, i can do pretty well so i also really love that this comes with this uh impressively thick full color booklet that um, explains all the different pieces of the microscope so there's information for kids and adults to really understand what they're seeing and then even better it walks through a bunch of common of uh, experiments that can be done with the other materials that are provided and so i should show it it's not just the microscope you get this box here that contains uh, four prepared slides and several bank blank slides the prepared slide there is a house fly leg, a, let's see, actually five prepared slides, a stem of a cotton plant, stem of a wood dicotyledon, um, a slice of pine wood, and a slice of onion skin. And that booklet that I was showing even um, goes into detail about each of the samples explaining exactly what you're seeing and kind of some information about why it looks the way it does which is great for inquisitive kids to help them learn just get these slides safely put back in the box and there are um, several blank slides that can be used for the included experiments or just going off on your own and experimenting so we also have a pair of tweezers which is useful a tool for cutting thin slices of materials um, to make your own samples. And then the really cool part is it comes with 
four vials here of materials that are used in the experiments in the book. We have sea salt, uh, yeast, brine shrimp, and uh, gum media. That's uh, And so you can actually use this little tray here that this says hatchery, uh, there we go, to hatch the shrimp eggs and you can do experiments with like how um, salty they like their environment using the sea salt. Um, with the yeast, you can do experiments of uh, uh, different levels of sugar in the water that they're growing in, um, and it just keeps going. Um, and you can also do things as simple as putting a piece of hair under here. We've also looked at you know our cat's fur and just all kinds of little things you know we can find around the house. So, you know, a tiny piece of. Uh, of um, like a napkin that's uh, you know extremely thin, so uh, you don't always have to use the tool to to start cutting things, or you can find things around your house that are suitable to look at in their current state. Um, and my kids are really enjoying it. It's um, my eight-year-old particularly is fascinated with science, and I think she is just amazed by seeing what some of these everyday, you know, plant and uh, other objects look like when you magnify them up 100 or 400 times. So all in all, I'm really pleased with this as kind of a beginner uh, home microscope. Um, it, uh, having both the upper and lower light sources is a really nice touch. You can really, uh, you know, get as good a view as is possible. Uh, and uh, having you know, all of the experiment kit stuff really makes this kind of a full package that's not just the microscope. So yeah, really pleased with this Leeuwenhoek product. Um, definitely uh, one that I would recommend for other families.